In this video, we're going to demonstrate the blackout module on this 2018 Chevrolet Silverado. It also works on the Tahoe as well. Um, the blackout module allows law enforcement to operate the vehicle uh, in the evening in uh, dark light without drawing attention to the vehicle because it will disable uh, seven different lighting systems on the vehicle. It disables the headlights, the taillights, the running lights, the instrument cluster, the dome lights, and the touch screen, uh, all by pushing a single button. The blackout module has some preconditions before it will activate, and one of which is you must have the headlights off, and the vehicle needs to be uh, driving at a slow rate of speed or stopped. Okay, to enable blackout mode, I'm gonna key the vehicle up to run, and you can see the instrument cluster light up. The touch screen is already lit up. And I'm going to push the button here to put us into blackout mode. And you can see the instrument cluster dims down, the touchscreen dims down. Now these don't go completely off, they dim down to about 10%, which is the lowest you can go uh, anyway with the, uh, with the instrument cluster with the controls. So as you can see, the front headlights went out and the taillights went out when we pushed the blackout mode button. To exit blackout mode, you can simply turn on the headlights or if the vehicle exceeds a set speed, it'll automatically come out, or you can push the button as well. The system has an automatic exit speed that if the vehicle exceeds that, it will come out of blackout mode and re-enable the headlights and the taillights. So the officer doesn't necessarily have to remember to push the button uh, if he's giving chase. The exit speed is defaulted from the factory at 15 miles an hour. However, you can request any exit speed from 5 to 20 miles an hour, and we will set that here at the factory for you. We've got some recommended settings for what we call super stealth mode. Uh, there's some settings that will really help you out here. So I'm just going down to vehicle on my settings, and I've got lighting, so I select that. Um, vehicle locator light so if you push your fob and unlock it's going to light the vehicle up you don't want that so let's take that to a zero exit lighting when you open the door and get out it's going to turn the lights on for 30 seconds so you can find your front door so we're going to shut that off as well uh, there's one more thing we want to adjust down here and that is turn display off we can dim this display down, but to shut it off completely, we just push this button here and it goes dark. I'm going to open the door here, and you can see these uh, dome lights come on. If you push this button, that'll keep the dome lights from coming on. One more recommendation is that when you key up the vehicle, it's going to give you a seatbelt chime warning. So if you fasten the seatbelt before you key up, you'll eliminate the chime. So when you're starting the vehicle in super stealth mode and uh, you, you're trying to start it up with no lights at all, push the enable button and hold it down uh, while you start the vehicle and then it'll start up with no lights whatsoever. Okay, now we're going to de demonstrate coming out of blackout mode when we exceed uh, 20 miles per hour in this vehicle, where, which is its uh, default speed. So you'll see the cluster come up and possibly the headlights come back on. There they go. So it comes out all on its own so the officer doesn't have to remember to push the button. For more information, call us at 1-800-969-6080. Thanks for watching.